Any rancher will tell you when it comes to producing young animals from members of their herd, well, things don't work quite the same as they do in the human world. Suffice it to say, when you look out across a field of fine, fat calves, it may be that many of them share the same father. Refining good genetics is a long-standing practice among ranchers and horse breeders, and that's created a highly specialized business. Here's Jason Schultz in Ashland, Nebraska. On a quiet farm in rural Nebraska, one family is capitalizing on the need for seed. By all appearances, it's your typical heartland farm. Cattle, horses, row crops, the Voglers have all the ingredients, but this family has something else. Welcome to the Vogler Semen Center. It may draw strange looks or laughs, but when it comes to semen, the Voglers mean business, and business is good. In the beef business, genetics is critical. To get top quality meat, ranchers need good cattle. To do that, they turn to breeding through artificial insemination. Ranchers will pay top dollar for what the Voglers collect here. There's no better way to increase the value of one's, per, of one's purebred herd than through artificial insemination. Uh, not everyone can go out and buy a hundred or two hundred thousand dollar bull, but about anybody can afford from fifteen to fifty dollar or hundred dollar straw semen in order to get this done. As we move along here, you know, say with certain bulls, you produce the best genetics. You want the most tender beef, uh, the most flavorful beef. And so with the new genetics that are to come in, you can take one bull and breed him to thousands of cows. Lloyd and Rosalind Vogler started the Vogler Semen Center back in 1983. As they watched banks foreclose on their neighbor's property during the farm crisis of the 1980s, the couple knew to survive, they had to find something else to do. Since then, the business has grown. It's now a full-time family-run operation, with the Vogler sons, Leslie and Lauren, playing a critical part. Around 2001, the operation expanded to include collection from horses. Genetics in the equine industry are also very important. Today, Leslie and Lauren are collecting a sample from the horse, Holly Doc. Um, this is a stud that's called Holly Doc. Um, he's a 24-year-old stud that came here. Um, and so we're gonna, we're in the process of building a bank of frozen semen on him. And so we'll take him down today and collect him. He's kind of a, an old pro at this, so. He's been known in the cutting in industry, uh, the reigning working cow horse deal. He's a uh, horse that's been pretty versatile. His colts have been able to go on and do quite a few different things. How many times has Holly Doc walked down this oh, hallway Oh, there's been <laughs> nu numerous times. Uh, he's, he's been a real champ for us. So, as you can tell, he kind of knows that he knows we're getting close, and so he's he'll be starting to get himself ready. So the hard part's done. Yep, the physical part is over with. Now you got to take this off to be analyzed. Yeah, we'll take it up to the lab and we'll check. Uh, the morphology, the count, and the motility on it, and uh, see how many straws we can freeze on him. So what are we doing now? Well, now we'll take a sample of the semen and we'll check for uh, motility and morphology of it. Motility, mor now tell me what that means. Motility is actually how the sperm cells are progressively moving to make sure they're motile. Okay. And, and alive. And morphology is the abnormality of the cells to make sure there aren't too many uh, deformed sperm cells as far as their head or tails. You can go ahead and freeze a high quality sample if you have good motility and morphology. So now we're going to check for those two things. And you have to use the microscope to do that? What we use for motility and also sperm count on the stallions is a Hamilton Thorne sperm analyzer. Well, look at that. Yep. And How's that look? See, his, his motility is excellent and the morphology is also excellent on Holly Doc. Now this will go, uh, somebody will get this and ideally be breeding some more horses. Yeah, after uh, this initial evaluation, we'll go ahead and freeze it and then uh, this semen will be available to ship worldwide. Lauren knows his way around the lab, but this is really his mom, Rosalind's territory. The Vogler family credits her with keeping this operation running smoothly. She's really the backbone of this operation. She holds everybody together, you know, in a quiet way. We all work together. Everybody has their own little niche that they do, but we are fortunate that they were both able to stay and help us out in the business. When it's all over with, I just say, 
It's a family working together successfully, laying a foundation for future generations. And like many family farms, the Voglers are playing their part in our nation's agriculture. Even the age-old world of agriculture offers up some surprises sometimes. And that's our show for today. Thanks for watching. I'm Paul Ryan, and we want to see you next time right here in America's Heartland.